everyone, Scotty Collier, West Ham Fan TV. Back again with your big match preview, back for the season by Labrooks, who are now offering you the power to boost the odds on your selections. Click the link below to find out more details. Um, on to the football, Friday night, 8pm kickoff at the London Stadium, Leicester City roll into town. Um, you know, going to be a tough game. I said our, our performance last time against Watford was, you know, was one that, to be fair, you want to forget. Um, you know, I thought we were absolutely awful. Second, if not third best to most, most of the balls after time. Still created a couple of chances to win it. Um, sorry, to, to get a goal, but still, you know, it wasn't good enough. I'm hoping another week, the whole squad back training, you know, a bit more improvement, a massive improvement, hopefully. And, you know, let's hope we can go on and get Sank out of this game because we've got some tricky fixtures coming up. Um, Leicester last time out did lose to Manchester City, but they are unbeaten in their last four away fixtures. Add that to the fact the last two times they visited East London, they have won, and that we're I think they're unbeaten against us in the last six games. You know, it sort of become a bit of a bogey side of ours. So you know, hopefully we can put that run right. But as I said, the stats are very, very stacked against us. Um, you know, also negatively again, I'm going to try and make this a bit more positive towards the end, but. You know, we've let in at least two goals in our last five fixtures. You know, it's not pretty reading. I think the last time we didn't concede two was a one-all draw up at Burnley, which was probably the last time we actually put a decent performance in. So let's hope we, you know, we can sort of go back, go back to that and put a shift in in this game. Um, Injury-wise, when we look at it, Sam Byram's still out, Hernandez is still missing, and obviously Jose Font. Um, there's doubts over Collins and Antonio. This game might come around a bit too early for them. Fingers crossed, hopefully they can make the bench. If not, they should be available next week, whether it's for the game against Everton or the game at the weekend. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll have them ones back. Andre Ayew, as far as I'm aware, was recovered from the illness that kept him out um, against Watford. So we may see him start, obviously, with Arnie going off against the Watford game. The injury's not um, not as bad as first fault. So he should be available for Friday. But, you know, I've got a sneaky feeling he was only in the starting eleven because I uh, picked up this bug and missed the game. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. When we look at Leicester, they're going to be, out, be without Matty James and Robert Hoof. Um, I do expect them to line up with a 4-4-1-1 formation with Jamie Vardy leading the line. Um, we, we've struggled this season with pace. To be fair, we struggled a bit last season with pace as well. You know, and this does worry me in going into this game. Leicester, they are very, very quick on the counter-attack. You know, we saw that against Watford. When Watford broke, they had a lot more players forward than we had um, getting back to defend. So that does worry me a little. Um, you know, Vardy... Uh, Mares, very very good player. Okazawa, another or Okazaki. I can never remember what his name is. Okazaki, sorry. You know, he's he's another tricky customer. Lots of pace will cause us a few problems. So we've got to be on it on this one. We can't afford to defend the way we did against Watford. Um, saying that, starting eleven. Now I'm going to give you what I think we should go for, and then what we'll probably see on Friday night. Personally. The formation we played against Watford didn't work. Creswell had three players to deal with most of the time out on his left due to the fact that Lanzini's not really a defensive-minded player and the midfield didn't work across enough to pick up the players. You know, every player seemed to be very rigid in their positions in my in my mind and no one sort of shuffled left and right. Um, but so I'd like to see a little change. So Joe Hart staying goal. He's been criticised a lot. For me... He hasn't really done anything wrong. He pulled off a good save in the game. I don't think he could have done much more to the other two. Um, so I'll say stick with him. Zabaleta, the only player in my mind this season that if we fe season finish today, he could walk off and say, yeah, you know what, I did all right. Uh, Winston Reid to continue in the back. One of the changes I'll make, Declan Rice coming for Ogbonna. I thought Ogbonna was very, very poor um, against Watford. So and and Rice needs to be given a chance. And you know, he's probably a bit quicker on his feet than a Bonner, so you know, it might help deal with that Vardy Vardy threat. Aaron Creswell to continue at left back. As much as you know people criticise him, I don't feel comfortable with Masuaku as a as a left back. For me, he's more of a left winger. Um Obiang playing the holding midfield. 
Andre Ayew to come in on the right if Antonio's not fit, and uh, Masuaku to come in on the left and play Lanzini at the tip of the diamond, playing off the Afro Sacco and Andy Carroll. You know, we need to start scoring goals. Yeah, we, we can't defend at the moment, so we need to start getting goals. I know Sacco's not everyone's cup of tea. He's pissed us all off with the way he's been, but he's there. We're paying him a wage. If he's fit, he's got the most about his game than the wear other forwards. You know, Carroll, great in the air, good at holding up the ball. Hernandez, a poacher, but with Sacco, we get a bit more work rate, a bit more pace, and a willing runner. So, you know, this is the longest him and Carroll have been fit. Try them out together. Yeah, I can't remember a game when we've actually had them two playing up top together. Just give it a go. You know, Masuaku putting crosses in. He put more crosses in in the 15 minutes he was on the pitch against Watford than we did the whole game. And Andy Carroll weren't even on the pitch. You know, these are the things that we've got to sort of get to grips with and start playing to our strengths. Um, as I said, the formation I've seen Moyes going for will be more of that either the 4 3 3 4 5 1 formation. So I, I think he'll stick with. Hart definitely, Zabba definitely, Reed definitely. He'll probably pick up a, a Bonham because of his experience. Creswell will definitely start there. Arnie will probably continue on the right. The same midfield three. Um, sorry, the, the player I could see dropping out would be Noble and having Obiang, Kyoto and Lanzini as a midfield three with Masawaku on the left and Andy Carroll up top. You know, he, he may just stick with the same four three three, but I've got a feeling he'll go for that one and try and shore it up at the back. A bit and catch him on the break if we can, but you know that's that's just my opinion. You know, f said first formation is what I think, what I'll probably personally do as a fan. Second formation is what I think Moyes will go for. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, you know, whether you agree with me, whether you you think Moyes would be say different, or even just give us your idea of what your formation um, would be. Prediction wise, I'm going to be positive. You know, we can't keep playing bad. There's got to be a performance in there somewhere. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Ham win. Lanzini to score first because, you know, he hasn't scored for a while. He's due a good game. So Lanzini to score first. If you fancy a cheeky little bet on that one, uh, Labrooks will give you 9-1. to If you boost the odds on that one, they will give you 19 for t uh, 19 to 2 sorry so um well worth a little punt um don't forget check out all our other videos i'll be back again with uh my everton preview come and see us after the game um for fan cams mm -hmm. everyone's welcome you know come and give us your views on the game on well everything related west ham just come down and see us post match pint will be going up uh, as well as i said check out all our other videos one thing left to say come on your irons